Let's talk about function notation. So f of x is equal to y. So if the function is equal to a number, that represents y. So let's take a look at that. f of x, we're going to say, is equal to, let's just say 3. That means that y is equal to 3. And then the number inside the parentheses, you see that it's an x inside the parentheses for the notation. So if I were to say f of 3, actually let's use a different number, x of negative 2 is equal to x plus 1, then we would see that x is equal to negative 2. Let's try one. This is kind of, might be new for some of you, so let's try it. So we have this function, f of x is equal to x squared plus 2x. And we see the first one says f of negative 6. This means that x is equal to negative 6. So everywhere we see an x, we're going to put in the negative 6. So negative 6 squared plus 2 times negative 6, which will be positive 36. 2 times negative 6 would be negative 12. So 36 minus 12 would give you 24. If we look at example b here, it says f of x is equal to 8. So remember that f of x is equal to y. They're the same thing. So they're replaceable. So we, as I talked about earlier, that this 8 was equal to a y. And in that function, we have y is equal to x squared plus 2x. So we say 8, replacing y, is equal to x squared plus 2x. And oops, it's an x. And then we are going to solve. So we set it equal to 0 x squared plus 2x minus 8, and then we need to factor. So x and x, and then factors of negative 8 that add up to positive 2 would be plus 4 and minus 2. I know that doesn't look like an x. And that's equal to 0. And remember, we just said each of these equal to 0. So x plus 4 equals 0. So x is equal to negative 4 and x minus 2 equals 0 so x is equal to positive 2 and now we know what the x is when y is 8